Hey, it's Kip here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. And uh, we're going to be shooting a crossbow. And uh, we're going to be talking about a crossbow that I have. Um, I purchased this last year and it's very deadly. Um, I did harvest a buck with it. And uh, this is a Barnett Buck Commander. And it shoots 365 feet per second, has a 175 pound draw. And uh, we're going to take it over to the table. We're going to get a little more specific on the details on it. And then uh, maybe in the next video or so, we're going to do some shooting with this. And I'll tell you what, falls in the air. As you can see here, the trees are starting to change. And uh, there's some deer wanting to get harvested, if you know what I mean. And I like venison because venison makes good sandwiches. So anyways, let's move over to the table and we'll get into more details with this thing. It's awesome. So let's check it out. Okay, like I said, we're going to do a tabletop review of this. And... Uh, our next video we're going to take it out in the range and do some shooting with it so hopefully you don't mind the cars in the background but uh lots of traffic today on my road for some odd reason but anyways this is the buck commander like i said it shoots 365 feet per second uh, the draw weight is 175 pounds and uh it weighs 8.1 pounds which is kind of heavy but you got to remember with this uh avi limb system these limbs are actually coated in a rubber polymer. It's like a rubber coating for silencing. Make this a quiet, much quieter shooting bow than most. I've shot, I've shot some of the other more expensive bows in this one here. Um, these ones here list out at $700. You can usually get them for $599. But uh, this particular one, um, I got as a refurbished one. I bought a, a late last fall and I got it right directly from Barnett. It came with a one year warranty. They will not disclose what exactly they did with it, but they guaranteed it for one year. And when I got it, it was basically brand new. It came with this three power uh, illuminated uh, scope, which I'll try to turn it on here in a few minutes and show you the inside. It's got different uh, four different reticles in it. It is three power, like I said. And it also came with a quivered cocking device. And the quiver's off right now. And it came with four bolts. Um, and here's the cocking rope. You can buy an um, attachment that goes on the buttstock here for about another 100 bucks. If you got limitations on pulling back, it's got like a ratcheting device on it. It makes cocking a breeze. So this would be great for people with handicaps or whatnot, or people with bad shoulders, or, you know. To be honest with you, I was an avid bow hunter for years, but I just don't have the time to practice like I used to. I used to shoot in bow leagues and 3D shoots and all that, but with my schedule, with kids and everything, this just makes bow hunting a lot funner for me. And uh, with my time, time schedule and stuff, this is the way to go. And really, you can't buy a complete bow setup for less than four or five hundred bucks anyway so i think i did very well with this so let me turn the scope on and uh we'll get back to that and we'll check that out real quick here yeah i don't know if you can make that out but you can see the illuminated there's four little circles in there and i can either make this red or green dim it or bright make it brighter in the very top circle um i actually use that one for my zero to 25 and that does just fine for what i do and um i don't tend to shoot my animals any further than that so you can barely make it out right there probably but uh there's the red i'll just shut it off for right now but anyways um for what i use it for this thing is a beast i'll tell you what there's a better view of it right there without the light on so the very top one is zero to 25 i've shot it up to 30 yards with it and now uh, with the very same exact one and the very top there the very the, the bigger one right there's a better picture but um and i use the standard baronet bolts they're 20 inch bolts and uh, i use muzzy 100 grain three blade uh, muzzy broadheads some people are against them some people are for them i like them they work for me so so anyways let's go to the next uh stage of the video here Hey, I hope you guys like this video, um, this short little review I did on this uh, Barnett Buck Commander. You'll probably like the next video even better, so stick around because we're going to take it and do some shooting with it. So uh, stay tuned, there's more to come.